Before we dive into a book, let's look at the main menu bar at the top and review some tools that will help you throughout your bookshelf experience. Some of the tools in the menu will apply only inside an e-textbook, but we'll review them quickly. The Preferences feature is located under the bookshelf menu on a Mac and under the Edit menu on a PC. This feature allows you to customize your preferences, such as bibliographic information, color scheme, which collections and references are displayed, and your friends list. We'll revisit the friends list when we talk about sharing and subscribing to highlights and notes. The File menu allows you to create a new folder or highlighter instead of using the icons we discussed in the left window pane. It also allows you to open recent books or close out of bookshelf downloadable. Subscribing to highlighters and printing will be discussed in future sections, but you can access those two features from this menu. Some grayed out options will become available when you have a book open. The View menu allows you to choose which highlighters are displayed in the left window pane. The Book menu options will be available once you are inside the book, so we'll skip that one for now. The Account menu allows you to update your book list and redeem an e-textbook code. Clicking on My Account will take you to Bookshelf Online, where you can manage your account. The Window menu allows you to manage the open windows, including any books you currently have open. Using the Help menu, you can search Bookshelf, receive Bookshelf help, provide feedback, and also check for software updates. Now, let's take a look inside a book. Remember, simply double-click on a title and the book opens in a new window.